All right, this one's gonna be on Shellium. It is a Selenium web driver for Bash. What does that really mean? Basically, you can actually write Bash script to do uh, automation for uh, you know surfing the web or uh, filling out forms, um, clicking on some stuff, clicking on some links, uploading an image, uploading files, stuff like that. So you don't have to like you know manually do it. You can actually script it to do it for you. And this is really, really freaking awesome. Uh, you can actually run this headless too. Uh, once you have your script all set up. And I'll show you what I'm working on uh, <laughs> for my own script, for my own usage. But I'm going to give you some examples here for what he has um, with his demo here. So in his demo... Um, Real simple. Look, you, if you ever use Bash, you know you can read this uh, and uh, you'll understand it really quick here. So you have, you know, your function, right? And in here, um, basically, you know, the command here is just navigate to a website, and we're gonna find uh, a search box here, and then uh, we're gonna type in some keys, right? In this case, uh, it's for Panda. And then he, slash n is for enter or a new line in this uh, thing here. Uh, so that's when to search for panda. Real simple. So let's uh, execute this uh, script here. But uh, you do need a requirement, which is uh, what does it require? Uh, a Chromium or a Chrome based uh, web browser because it requires this uh, Chrome uh, driver uh, to be running. And then you can actually execute this demo dot sh here, right? So basically, you know, it, it went to um, the Google Japan web page and um, it searches for Panda. Real simple, right? So that's uh, the thing with that. Uh, not that hard. And they do have documentations for here. So the two things that's you know um, you probably run into that you want to use is either ID or name, and depending on whatever it is, like if you want to use links, then um, you probably want to use these uh, properties here, right? But ID and name, if you see that on um, you know the HTML code, you want to use that, all right? Um, uh, sometimes you might not want to use that, but, uh, and th those are rare cases, but the two ones, ID and name are like, you know, kind of unique. Then you want to use that. XPath is, well, I mainly use it for uploading images, but you can use it for other things, which I haven't used yet, but, uh, you can read up on this, um, you know, for the help page, I guess. Um, now as far as my script, uh, I'm, I'm trying to use this for a Craigslist, automated posting because I really hate uh, using Craigslist especially when uh, your listing expires and you um, I mean you can renew it but uh, they delete the images and you have to like upload the images again which is really annoying if you have like you know maybe 20 or 30 listing and you gotta do that for every um, every time your, your listing expires is annoying so if I use this, I can automate like, you know, the description, the price, even the images that I'll upload, uh, and I don't have to waste my time. I can do this headlessly, you know, once I'm, I'm done with the script, I'm not done with the script yet, but, uh, I'll show you what I got so far here. Uh, as far as my script, um, I didn't want to like waste time, you know, typing in Chrome driver. So I just put it in the script. Uh, you want to put this in the top, right? So you do Chrome driver and the end sign and we want to sleep like one or two seconds just because we want to wait for this to load and then we actually run the script here right so this is the whole script here and at the end we want to kill that uh you know chrome driver that uh we started earlier uh pretty simple so uh i have some of my um uh text that i you know um set it as variables here, but you can type it in uh, as you go if you want. Anyways, let me show you how it looks like uh, when we do this here. All right. Uh, so we do Craigslist.
All right, so I finished there. Uh, I had to use a uh, sleep time for um, uploading the images because, um, you know, you, you, if you have like a lot of images, it might take a longer time. So I put it at 10 seconds, but however you want to do it. Anyways, let's back up um, to the first thing that it did. So basically it goes to, uh, what was that? Uh, this LAX here. Los Angeles, uh, Craigslist, uh, you know, posting of a new uh, listing and it clicks on this San Fernando Valley and um, we want to use find elements in here because you can see that there's multiples uh, radio button here and you actually right click on, uh, you know, the page here and do an inspect and this is how you find the HTML code that you need, right? You do inspect and then you have this little arrow and you go to you know the ones that you want like this little uh, radio button here you click on that and then over here um, you know this is where you get your code here so usually what I do is just right click on this and then copy element here and then I'll just paste it in here so I can see it clearly what it does right so what I want in here is um, you know they don't have an ID but they do have a name so you see that's why we're using name all right name uh equals n so that's why we're using n here now uh, we want to use elements with the s here because there's actually multiple uh names with the same thing so you can see i'm gonna give you an example here if i do this and i go to maybe this one here the long beach one here uh you see this one it's the same thing it's uh let me copy in here so you can see. So this one is pretty much the same thing. It's just that you know the value is number five here, right? But you see it's the same name uh, equals n. And if there's multiple uh, names of the same thing, you want to use elements. So we can actually do an array. So that's why uh, we're using an array here, right? Uh, so basically how it counts is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if I was using some other ones, I'll use a different number. But since I'm using San Fernando Valley, I'll have to use, you know, 0 and then 1. So that's why we have uh, click. Um, what is that? Our variable is a radio click uh, location. And then that's why we have 1 here. And it will click on that one, right? So that's how that works. Same thing with this process here. Um, the names are the same thing. Let me undo this here. Uh, as far as the owner here, uh, like I said, it's pretty much the same thing. Like all these ones here, they have a name and the name is the ID. So that's why we have, um, you know, an array again. And then we click on five this time. So continue. Same thing with this thing here pretty much the same process um, this one there's you know a longer list but the general idea is the same thing so we're clicking on uh, what is that 43 here for um, video games right or video game section so that's all I did for that portion um, so that's it right for that one yeah that's it so we continue or with the uh, video games here. So this one, uh, you know, we're, we're typing some stuff. So we, we're not using clicks no more. We're using a send keys this time, right? So really simple. You do the same thing, you know, right click, inspect, and then you hit this thing here, and then you find the field that you want to uh, type some stuff in here. So this one, uh, I already have it in my, um, you know, thing here. But this one, um, since the name is like unique, you know, there's only one name that says a uh, posting title. We don't have to use elements no more. We just use uh, element with no S. Um, so it's only one occurrence of it. So we don't have to like, you know, use an array or anything like that. So that's why we have name, posting title. And then from here, you send the keys, um, whatever you want. I already have it set up on top, but if I was going to type it out like, uh, you know, uh, Naruto video game or something like that, 
then you can type it as for the title. Uh, I already have it up top here. What do we put in top here? We have uh, Leaf Village here, right? But you get the idea. Um, same thing with the, all these other ones, like price. You do the same thing. You know, you um, inspect, find the thing, and you find the field that you want. In this case, this price here is uh, it's just called the name is the price, right? Name, price, name, price. Pretty simple. So you do that for all the fields that is required of you. Um, these check boxes are same thing like uh, the radio buttons that I showed you earlier. Uh, not that hard, you know. If you go inspect, find it, and this one is um, this field here. What is one here? See my other? Okay, let's search for that. All right, so this is the field for that um, check box there, All right? Pretty much the same thing. We're gonna find uh, the element of that, and the name in here is see my other, and then we want to click on you know uh, the variable that we set it to, right? So there you go. That's it. Not that hard. And then we do continue, and it's actually supposed to go to our um, location, right? So this is our location, and from here I put in um, was it Hatteras and Tahunga. That's the cross street I used to live at in uh, North Hollywood here. And we click on find. And the one thing I need to explain on here, uh, do I need to explain this one? Let me see here. Inspect here. Oh yeah, and here uh, it has its continue button, right? Let me find out here. No, that's not the one. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, so this continue button here, right? Um, it's kind of weird, but in this one, uh, we're using class name because you know this is the code for it here, right? The class name. Now the class name here. Um, I thought this was trial and error. I thought you had to put in like a continue big uh, button here, like this. It actually does not work that way. So um, what I will say uh, that uh, this thing does is that it doesn't actually care about the uh, second word. Anything like with spaces and stuff like that, it, it doesn't recognize it. So what you want to do is just use the first word only and then it will work. So this is how you use class name here. If there's a class, you just use a class name as the properties. And then... Um, as far as the name of it, just use the first word. Don't use anything after a space after that. All right. Anyways, uh, I found that you know out the, the hard way by trial and error. Because uh, nowhere in the documents you know that says that you can't use um, space with it. Uh, so that's how you do that for the continue button, all right? Um, so that's all that does. And then the next page is supposed to do this images here. And generally, if you're doing this manually, you have to click on this add here. Um, and then, you know, you find your images and it uploads. So how do you do that portion? Well, this is where you do it here. Uh, we're going to use XPath. And uh, XPath here, we, we're doing an input, right? So this is the, uh, the HTML code for that, um, you know, this button here, right? That's the HTML code for for that button, right? So um, what you want to do is use XPath, and um, you want to do input, you know, in brackets here in the type. So what is our type here? Um, what was that on here? Oh yeah, here we go. This is the um, the code for it here, right? So you're gonna do type equals file, and basically type equals file is right here. That's all you gotta do for that. And we're gonna do send keys. Uh, and then you wanna tell it, you know, what images you wanna upload. So I have multiple images. So the first image here is this Toby PNG. And then if you have multiple images, you wanna do a slash N for a new line, right? And then you do your second images. And if you wanna do more, you know, you do another um, slash N and then type out your full path, your absolute path to that location of the images and it'll upload it. 
So this one I added 10 seconds sleep, um, just in case you know if I have more images in here, um, it will it will require a, a more wait time for it to upload to uh, you know the site. Uh, pretty much it for that. And then uh, what's the next one here? So down here it says done with images. Um, pretty much uh, you know that's the same thing we did the the other button, right? Let's see here. Yeah, so this one's pretty much the same thing uh, that I explained the other one. Um, this one is a class, All right? So this one's a class and um, a class name. So that's what we're using, class name. And I, like I said before, the other ones, uh, if it has like a space between it, just skip the, the second word and just use um, the first word here for done. Again, I found that out by trial and error. Uh, Cause in the documentation it didn't tell you anything about that. Anyways, that's how that works. Um, you know, there's more stuff in the documentations for doing other stuff, but uh, if you want to do like the Craigslist posting, like I do, um, I'll probably post this up and unfinished. So if you want to finish it, go ahead, do your own thing. Um, you know, maybe if you want to, uh, you have an, a Craigslist account, you can actually make it log into your account, run the script. And it will actually show up in your account, and um, you know you can do it headlessly. Oh yeah, as far as doing headless, uh, pretty simple. You can do the script here. So if I do um, dash dash headless, is that the, is that the command? Let me see here. I think that was in here, right? Headless. Yeah, there you go. Um, if you do uh, the script headless like this, it'll run in the background. And you know, no user interaction, nothing like that. And I'll do all the stuff that uh, we just did. Um, although my script's not finished, so that's why I'm not want to run it here. But you get the idea that you can run it headlessly, and I'll do everything in the back, um, you know, without you doing anything. You know, run in a cron uh, cron job if you want, right? Anywho, uh, that's pretty much it for the program. You know, it's real simple. I can just do this. Uh, if I had like you know a item that I gonna sell over and over, I can just run this thing here, and it's gonna do its job. Real simple. Look at this. Oh my goodness, unbelievable. I love this thing already. And it's Bash script, right? I don't have to like uh, learn. What's the other one? Selenium. I think that's the one's Python, or maybe JavaScript or something like that. I don't have to learn that. I just use a uh, you know basic uh, Bash shell commands and automate this stuff anyways uh that's pretty much it for the program it is kind of a, a new project so uh, if you're if it's missing something or you need something to explain go ask the guy uh bust out an issue on his github page and he should be help, he should be able to uh you know help you out anywho that's it for the program check it out if you're into what i just said all right